This dog had a tough time. He spent several years in a house that resembled a dump, without the opportunity to go outside or even see the sunlight. The dog's owner was not in her right mind, so we were only able to take him away after lengthy negotiations involving a familiar woman. It's impossible to understand what the former owner was thinking, but when she handed over the dog, there was a rope tied around the animal's neck, and the same rope was used to tie its mouth. The dog was picked up by the acquaintance, as the former owner scared her with the dog's aggressiveness, so on top of the ropes, a muzzle was also put on the dog. It took the dog several hours to get to the shelter. After the staff removed the muzzle, it was visible that the rope around the dog's mouth was pulled so tightly by the owner that the dog's tongue had turned blue. Removing the rope turned out to be not the easiest task, as it was tied so tightly that the knots had to be cut, which was done at the clinic. The dog turned out to be very calm and quiet, not resisting when the ropes were removed, not whimpering or barking. When the dog was fed at the clinic, it laid down and attentively watched everything around. Seeing how calmly the dog behaved, we did not expect what we encountered next. It became clear during the examination that the dog had been severely and regularly beaten. The dog calmly allowed the head to be examined and even the mouth to be looked into, but didn't allow anyone to touch its body. As soon as the veterinarians tried to continue the examination, the dog started screaming. This sound was not like barking or growling, but a scream that clearly showed fear of humans. In order to continue the examination, they tried to hold the dog down with three people, but due to the small size of the animal, this approach did not yield results. The dog had to be put under anesthesia, during which time they conducted the examination, performed castration, and examined the oral cavity. The dog found temporary accommodation, and its owner agreed not only to take care of the animal, but also to train it to only go to the bathroom outside. The dog was named Timisha, and he will need rehabilitation and psychological recovery, although there are doubts that this can be fully achieved.